Platinoprin tablets is a preferential and targeted lymphocyte reducing therapy that's being investigated as a short course oral treatment for multiple sclerosis, also known as MS. In the 96 week phase three clarity study reported in the New England Journal of Medicine, all primary and key secondary endpoints were met. Multiple sclerosis or MS is a chronic inflammatory neurodegenerative disease of the central nervous system. Immune cells, antibodies and cytokines injure the myelin sheaths and the axons in the central nervous system, eventually resulting in irreversible functional deficits. Autoreactive T and B lymphocytes are key players in this pathophysiological process during the active phase of the disease. Treatment with clatopin tablets leads to a preferential reduction of peripheral T and B lymphocyte counts. The effects on T lymphocytes are sustained, lasting for many months. This enables administration using a short course dosing regimen in which treatment is given in two four to five day courses in week one and week five, followed by a treatment free period of 10 months and then two additional courses are administered. Cladribin is a synthetic chlorinated analog of deoxyadenosine. The substitution of a hydrogen with a chlorine atom in cladribin makes the nucleoside analog resistant to degradation by adenosine deaminase, an enzyme that metabolizes and clears the naturally occurring deoxynucleosides. Cladribin enters the cell via a nucleoside transporter protein. Inside the cell, cladribin is activated through phosphorylation by the enzyme deoxycytidine kinase, or DCK, and can be inactivated through dephosphorylation by the enzyme 5-nucleotidase, or 5-NTase. Therefore, cells which have a high concentration of DCK and a low concentration of 5-NTase accumulate higher levels of the phosphorylated molecule, which becomes trapped inside the cell. One such cell is the lymphocyte. Compared with other cells, lymphocytes have a high ratio of DCK to 5-NTase, resulting in a preferential accumulation of phosphorylated or activated cladribin. This interferes with DNA synthesis and repair, ultimately causing cell death in both dividing and resting cells. Treatment with cladribin leads to a preferential and sustained reduction in lymphocyte counts. However, reduction in neutrophils, platelets and erythrocytes are modest and mean levels of these cells remain within the normal range throughout the period of treatment. Treatment with clatribin induces a moderate but sustained decline in circulating T cell counts as assessed by the CD3 cell surface marker. Clatribin treatment also induces a decrease in CD4 to CD8 T cell ratio indicating a greater effect on CD4 positive T cells. Reduction in B cell counts, as assessed by the CD19 marker, are more transient compared with T cells. As are reductions in natural killer cells, as assessed by CD16 and CD56 markers. This preferential reduction of circulating T and B lymphocytes, which mediate MS, is a promising therapeutic approach to combat disease processes. Since T cells persist at reduced levels throughout treatment and B cells and natural killer cells recover progressively, patients treated with clatribin are thought to retain sufficient immune activity to adequately fight infections. Clatribin largely spares cells of the innate immune system, 
which play an important role in fighting infections. Clatterbin crosses the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system, which may mean that it can act directly at the site of inflammation. The relevance for this, for the therapeutic effect, remains to be confirmed. The preferential and targeted lymphocyte-reducing effects of cladribin tablets have the potential to interrupt the cascade of events that are central to the pathophysiology of MS and the progression of the disease. The treatment aims to offer patients year-long efficacy with once daily dosing for eight to 10 days during the year.